assistant coaches, Don Jones, Don Springer, Devon Sanders, Dave Smith, Malik Billingsley, and Kesme Spencer. Now for the introduction of the starting lineups. For Wadsworth, number one, Solomon Callahan. For Nordonia, six foot four junior, number two, Joel Jones. For Wadsworth, number two, Carter Link. For Nordonia, five foot eleven in sophomore, number four, John Henderson. For Wadsworth, number three, Stan Bingham. For Nordonia, five foot eleven inch junior, number twelve, Anthony Lee. For Wadsworth, number eleven, Owen Simmons. For Nordonia, six foot sophomore, number fifteen, Cooper Ross. For Wadsworth, number twelve. Alex Richter. And for Nordonia, six foot five senior, number 23, Robert Watson. Welcome everyone to Nordonia High School on a rainy Friday evening. We're here at the Hugh Griffith Memorial and Arena for another Knights basketball broadcast here on NordoniaHills.News. The hometown Nordonia Knights here at the confines of Nordonia High School. They're hosting the Wadsworth Grizzlies. Let's get you your starting lineups tonight. I'm Darius Sethna. You're listening to Nordonia Basketball on NordoniaHills.News for the Knights. Joel Jones, Anthony Lee, John Henderson, they're all back in the starting lineup tonight along with Cooper Russ and Robert Watson, the longtime starter for the Knights. For the Washington Grizz, or excuse me, the um, Wadsworth Grizzlies, Solomon Callahan, a freshman, Carter Link, Stan Bingham, Owen Simmons, and Alex Risher. And also, rather surprising stat for this Wadsworth team, three twelfths, or you could also say three of their 12 uh, players are seniors. So that's only 25% of their team are composed of seniors. This is a young varsity squad who seem to have a lot of energy and a lot of shooting as Stan Bingham was unable to cash in on the three, but Owen Simmons, a six foot five junior, is a forward position able to cash in on the offensive board. Here come the Nordonia Knights on their offensive possession. Here's Joel Jones in the corner. He'll have a pass that's deflected. Here's someone who's fast and can really play the game. Solomon Callahan, a freshman. You wouldn't know he's a freshman by his game. He's in the shooting lines today, very calm and composed and really drilling all of his shots as Alex Richer's unable to hit the bucket. And here's Cooper Russ with the save. Russ finds Henderson. Henderson drives all the way, finds Jones on the baseline for a floater that's off the mark. Jones gets the offensive rebound. Last time we were here about a week ago, Joel Jones had the game of his life as the Knights win, won that game 44 to 39. Jones with 15 points in the game, making those defensive plays. Anthony Lee came up clutch last week when we were here broadcasting the Knights in that 44 39 win. Here's Watson, drives inside, misses the layup. 
And here come the Grizzlies who have a 2-0 lead here in the first quarter with six minutes to go. Here's Risher in the corner. Risher looks for Bingham and finds him. Bingham has Jones guarding him up top. Here's Callahan. Callahan the nice drive and the nice finish by Solomon Callahan. I did say this guy could play some basketball and I just can't believe he's a freshman guard, 5'11". Really just looks like he knows all the facets of the game. Here's Henderson who launches a three, no. And here comes Carter Link to Bingham. Bingham looks like he's one of the primary ball handlers for this Grizzlies team. Bingham once more. Guarded by Anthony Lee. And the double team is well executed by the Knights. Joel Jones struggling to come up with it, finally does. Finds Cooper Russ. Russ cross court pat to Anthony Lee, who thought about the three. Up top, Henderson. Back to Lee. Watson the jump shot. No, off the mark. A little too strong. And here is Callahan. Grizzlies with a 4-0 lead with 4.40 to go here in the first quarter. Luke Jackson and Owen Lick making their way to the scorer's table, getting ready to check in for Nordonia tonight. Nice pass in the paint. That was um, Owen, Owen Simmons once more. Owen Simmons is 6'5". He's a junior, obviously forward as well. Simmons, the tallest player out there on the floor. Watson inside. Another 6'5 forward out there. Gets the Knights their first bucket of the game, and it is a 6-2 Grizzlies lead with four minutes to go here in the first. Bingham finds Callahan. Callahan's almost triple team, and he still comes up with it. Out to Bingham. Bingham the three. No, he short-rimmed it. Here's Lee with the rebound. Anthony Lee pushing the pace. Lee drives, finds Russ in the corner. Russ back to Jones. To Henderson in the corner for three. That's off the mark. And here, um, Risher had the rebound. And some substitutions coming in now. As I mentioned, Luke Jackson and Owen Lick seeing their first minutes of the night. Jacob Jeriga and Scott Dallas are coming in for Wadsworth. Lee has Callahan on him. Almost turned it over. Jones able to come up with it. Here's Joel Jones. Finds Owen Licht. Owen Licht has Scott Dallas on him. As I mentioned, Dallas is a um, sophomore, 5'11". Jones, the pull-up jumper is no good. Cooper Russ for three in the corner. Got it. So, saw Cooper Russ in the layup lines this evening in those shooting drills. He was hitting the th uh, sh corner threes from that exact spot, actually. So, it's good to see that he's able to translate that into some in-game action. And here come the Knights down one, looking to get their first lead of the game. Joel Jones fires a three, and it's way off the mark. Here's Bingham. Bingham, it's a two-on-one for the Grizzlies if they hurry. And Bingham, the Euro step. And the jelly from Stan Bingham. One of Wadsworth's go-to guys. And he gives the Grizzlies an 8-5 lead with 2.20 to go in the first. Anthony Lee finds Russ. Russ, bounce pass for Jones on the left side. Into Licht on the corner. Finds Luke Jackson to the top of the key three for Lee. I'm good friends with uh, Anthony Lee. We talked with each other a lot in uh, elementary school. He always had a great feel for shooting the basketball and just playing the game in general. It's great to see him getting some quality minutes now as a varsity player as we have a foul call. Josh Malone is also checking in for Nordonia. Jordan Massey is also at the scores table. He's coming in for Lee. Mason Fortner for Wadsworth has also checked into the game. Nice pass for Jeriga. Jeriga goes up and can't finish it. 
Here's Russ. Knights have done better in not allowing second chance points for Wadsworth. Done rather well in terms of inbounding the basketball in the opening minutes here. Here's Massey. Massey in the left corner to Russ. Russ has Risher, Risher on him. Massey once again to Jackson, finds Russ who's double team, tried to look for a bounce pass that's broken up by Fortner. Here's Bingham once again. Bingham's got Massey on him now. Stan Bingham trying a couple of moves. Finds uh, Alex Risher again. Dallas to Bingham. Cross court pass for Dallas. He's double teamed. He finds Jeriga who couldn't hold on to the pass. And another quality defensive, uh, quality defensive possession by the Knights. As they're able to force a turnover. Let's see how they can close out this ha uh, quarter. Haven't had a lead yet tonight. We're tied at eight with the final 38 seconds of the first quarter right here. Here's Massey. Massey finds Jackson. Jackson drives all the way. It's triple team. Fires up a jump shot. That's no good. Malone, the offensive rebound's no good. Bingham. Fires a rushed shot. I would think he'd want to wait for the final shot of the quarter. Here's Malone. Malone finds Owen Licks. Eight seconds on the clock. Massey. Looks at the clock. Finds Licks. Licks got to shoot it. Jackson shoots it and drills it. Luke Jackson at the buzzer drills the jumper to give the Knights their first lead of the game at the very end of the first quarter. Therefore, that concludes our first quarter of play. We'll be back with second quarter action here on ordoniahills.news very shortly. We'll also be back for news around the NBA and with the Cavs. Don't miss out on second quarter action and much more to come from Nordonia High School. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School where the Knights have a 10 to 8 lead to start this second quarter here at Nordonia High School. It's a rainy day here in Macedonia but it's been the Knights who have the lead here to start the second quarter. Pierce Malone finding Jordan Massey. Hey let's get you uh, updated on some NBA news. The uh, NBA actually had their game in Europe this year in Paris, France. That's right, the NBA, uh, there was an NBA game this afternoon in Paris where the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Antetokounmpo defeated the Charlotte Hornets by a final score of 116 to 103. The Memphis Grizzlies, the Memphis Grizzlies are in Detroit to take on the Pistons. They have a 27-20 lead. The Boston Celtics are down by six in Orlando to the Magic. The Toronto Raptors are in New York City tonight at Madison Square Garden to face the Knicks. The Clippers are taking on the Heat later tonight. That should be a fun one with Kawhi Leonard going up against Jimmy Butler. The Sacramento Kings are in the Windy City in Chicago of Chicago tonight for a matchup against the Bulls. James Harden and the Houston Rockets are in the Twin Cities of uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul uh, for a matchup against the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Denver Nuggets are facing Zion Williamson, who made his NBA debut this past Wednesday. 22 points, 4 of 4 from the three point line. They'll be facing off against the Denver Nuggets. The Atlanta Hawks are in Oklahoma City uh, for a matchup with the Thunder. The Phoenix Suns are in San Antonio tonight. <laughs> to take on the Spurs and finally, yes, finally, um, the Indiana Pacers are in San Francisco to, for a matchup with the Warriors at the Chase Center tonight. We'll keep you 
updated with those games. The Cavs um, have not looked good since that win against the Denver Nuggets a few a few weeks ago. As uh, they most recently lost to the Wizards by a final score of 124 to 112. We talk all about it in this week's episode of the Cleveland Sports Show with uh, myself. We do a lot. We talk about the new head coach for the Cleveland Browns, in updates with the Indians, and of course, Cavs basketball. Dive deep into all of that. We also have our most recent um, episode of Center Court with Ray Horner on WAKR. Um, that is officially been posted on the at Nordonia Sports Twitter account, so if you haven't been on there lately, make sure you do so. We've uh, posted a lot of new material for you to see and uh, listen to, and you can also find tonight's game on our Twitter account as well. Meanwhile, we're back here at Nordonia High School. Here's Scott Dallas bringing up the ball for the Wadsworth Grizzlies, who find themselves down by four now, a 12 to eight Nordonia Knights lead here at home. Here is uh, Carter Link. He's finding his first uh, few minutes of the game here. Here's back to Dallas. Dallas has Watson on him, which is kind of uh, surprising, but Logan Jankowski's also in for reassurance defensively in the paint. And substitutions once more. Stan Bingham's back. He's replacing Scott Dallas. Josh Mullins also returning for Nordonia. Here's Anthony Lee. Knights have to get it over the uh, calf line here. They do. Here's Anthony Lee. Has Bingham sizing him up. Finds Cooper Russ, who thought about the three. Finds Lee up top. Jones goes to the baseline, now brings it back. Cross-court pass to Malone in the corner on the left side, three. Off the mark, Watson, an offensive rebound, phenomenal rebound by Watson. Here's Jones. Jones, another cross-court pass for Malone. Up top to Lee. Lee, thinking about what to do here. Thankfully, there's no shot clock, so you have all the time in the world to set up a play. Here's Jones. Jones, another cross-court pass, and a pass inside for Jan Kowski. Great feed from Josh Malone for that Jan Kowski bucket, and the Knights have a 14-8 lead here with 4.25 to go in the second quarter. Knights 14, Grizzlies 8. Here is... Carter Link in the corner for three. Off the mark, air ball. Joel Jones the rebound. Jones pushes it ahead for Malone. Malone had it deflected and here's Callahan. Callahan is fast and he pulls up and drills it. I told you this guy, this guy can score. The freshman guard, Scott Callahan. One of three freshmen on this varsity roster for um, Wadsworth. Joel Jones is double teamed. Back out Lee. As the Knights have a three point lead here with 3.32 to go in the second. And Dominique Sanders calling a time out here with 3.26 to go in the first half. It is Knights 14, Grizzlies 11. We'll be back here with Nordonia Hills broadcasts on NordoniaHills.News with Darius Sethna. Friday Night Basketball from Nordonia High School will resume after this break. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back, everyone, in Ordonia High School. Knights in front, low scoring uh, first half, 14-11 score with 3.14 to go here in the uh, second, uh, second quarter. The Knights have the advantage by three. Here's Joe Jones in the left corner for Cooper Russ. Russ goes up top for Luke Jackson. Luke Jackson has Jacob Jeriga on him. Jones to the basket, off the mark. Cooper Russ, can he go two for two? No. And Jankowski is going to be called for a foul, pushing foul on Callahan. Or no, excuse me, it's on, it's on Jackson actually. Here come the Grizzlies and Scott Bingham. They've got to get across the uh, half court line. They're just playing a one two game with Bingham and uh, Link. Bingham, nice inside pass for Jeriga in the qu uh, corner, Link. The drive is good by Bingham. No basket, I don't think. John Henderson coming back in the game. He's replacing Joel Jones. Here come the Grizzlies ready to inbound here. Here's Simmons. Simmons double team now finds Bingham. Bingham with a couple of crossovers on Lee. Hands it for Callahan. Callan, Callahan. Some crossovers uh, all the way to the basket. The layup is well, way off. It could have been a great finish by Callahan. Instead, it's Henderson going baseline. Pass deflected, and here comes Callahan. Two on one developing. Broken up by Lee. Tried to claim possession of it. Can, and we have a jump ball. Where will possession favor? Or is it a timeout? It looks like Wadsworth called a timeout. Yep, we have a quick 30 second timeout here. We'll be back from Nordonia High School after this quick break. Welcome back everyone in Ordonia High School on a rainy night here in Macedonia. The Knights reigning in the, uh, those points. 14 points here in the uh, first half with a minute 48 to go here in the second quarter. Callahan in the corner, fires a three, got it. And Solomon Cal Callahan after blowing that wide open layup, drills a contested three and we are all knotted up at 14 with a minute 23 to go here in this first half. Nice deflection by Callahan. Henderson. Henderson tried to get it and we went over and back. So we're going to have a Knights turnover. I will credit the Knights though. They have not turned the ball over as much in this first half. We'll see what the second half brings us. A minute 16 remaining here in the first half. We're tied at 14. Here's Simmons. Finds Dallas. Callahan's double teamed by Russ and Lee, trying to find someone, does. It's Dallas, and it's a drive inside by Wisher. Here come the Knights. Nice defensive play by Henderson. And it's Callahan once more. Solomon Callahan will nice fake. The layup's good. This guy can play. Henderson as the Knights try to regain some momentum here. Henderson three, bang. That's John Henderson right there for you. Nice, nice shot for him and the Knights 
regain their lead at 17-16 with 20 seconds to play here in the half. Here's Risher. Risher finds Dallas. Dallas, nice feed. Risher's wide open, top of the key, got it. Final three seconds here, the half. Here's Henderson from half court, got it, oh. John Henderson just drilled from about a couple feet above that three point line. Couple steps past half court, let it go and drilled it. Phenomenal way to end our first half of play as the Knights were able to regain some momentum and have a 20 to 19 lead heading into halftime. That concludes our first half of play here at Nordonia High School. We will be back for more second half action after this short halftime break. We'll bring you all the halftime stats you could ask for. Until then, uh, thank you so much for listening here on NordoniaHills.News. Second half action um, coming up next. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School on a rainy night here in Macedonia as the Knights come out of halftime with a one point advantage over the visiting Wadsworth Grizzlies Knights with a 20 to 19 advantage here to start the second half. It's a three in the corner by uh, Simmons that is off the mark. Owen Simmons, a 6'5 junior, unable to hit from the left corner. Jones cross court pack for Henderson who starts the uh, starts the first half where or second half where he left off in that first half speaking of those uh, first half stats let's get him to you uh, Solomon Callahan fantastic first half 10 points only one foul for the freshman guard for the Knights balance scoring throughout Henderson uh, finished the half with six points as Solomon uh, Callahan continues his fantastic night. Henderson finished with uh, six points in the first half um, after drilling a half-court shot. Lee, Russ, and Robert Watson combined for a total of eight points also for the Knights. It's been a low-scoring game. The Knights have a 23-22 advantage here with 6.40 left in the third, but it has been, as I mentioned, a low scoring game here. Another cross court pass by the Knights. Surprised a lot of these uh, haven't been turnovers actually. Here's John Henderson picked up by 
Uh, the Misk, excuse me, trying to find, uh, still getting used to this Wadsworth roster, still studying it a bit. Here come the Grizzlies. Here's Simmons, nice pass inside for uh, Link, but he was unable to connect. Henderson. Finds Russ, who goes in the paint, kicks it back out, top of the key to Lee. Back to Russ, nice pass inside. Cross court, Henderson, three, another. John Henderson is on fire tonight. That's his third three-pointer. His, um, actually, he's three for three um, in his last three uh, three-point attempts. So, if you count that half-court shot as well. And here are our... The First free throws of the game, actually, for Wadsworth. Rarely been getting to the free throw line. Neither team really getting to the free throw line tonight. Most of these points have come from shooting threes or mid-range. Here comes Nordonia with a two-point advantage and the ball with 5.26 to go in the third quarter and there they turn it over those turnover uh, turnover woes have to begin at some point here's Callahan who's had a strong uh, start to this second half as well nice cross court pass inside the layup is good and Stan Bingham Actually changing his jersey, it was number three um, in the first half. For some reason, just changed his jersey number to 20. As here's Robert Watson down in the low post. Gets inside and is fouled. Looks like he was fouled by Link. Yep, it's a foul on Link. That'll be his first personal. And Robert Watson will now be at the line for two shots. You know, I'm making a prediction here, and I, I think this is going to be a game that's going to be determined by late game free throws. Can the Knights hit those free throws? We'll see. As Watson goes 0 for 2, and we have a foul called on or er, um, Wadsworth, so the ball will stay here. Either way, Anthony Lee in our last game for Nardonia Hills News when we were here, he was 4 for 4 in that uh, clutch time stretch to ice the game for the Knights, which they won 44-39, a five-point victory. As We have a foul called. This time it's going to be on. So it's going to be on. It's on Jones. Substitutions now coming in for the Knights. Josh Malone has entered the game. Malone has. Uh, will be the defensive assignment on Bingham, who drives all the way and misses the floater. Here's Malone the rebound to Lee. Lee pushing. Henderson's got the hot hand, dishes it out to Lee. The floater is off the mark. And here's Callahan. Callahan has Henderson going back, but Callahan able to float it up and in, and Callahan with 15 points. The freshman guard has had a terrific game and really has you know, got it going from everywhere. He's getting in the paint and has been hitting his shots all around fantastic from Callahan. Henderson finds Malone for a right side three, no. For a left side three, excuse me. Here's Callahan. Now is going up against Russ. Couldn't hit on the pull up three. And here's Bingham. Grizzlies get another offensive possession. Bingham drives and I don't think that drive will count. Bingham seems to have uh, 
hurt his lip a little bit. Is asking for some towels to clean that up a bit, and he'll go to the line for two shots. So Stan Bingham, a senior, six foot guard, hits, or excuse me, no, rolled in and out. Owen Lichten, Jordan Massey are checking in for Nodonia. Jacob Jariga and Scott Dallas are also checking in for Wadsworth. As Bingham goes 0 for 2 from the line. And the Knights looking to get their lead back here. And Grizzlies are really applying some high full court pressure. Licks, it's a steal. And Bingham all the way to the bucket for the lay-in. And Dominic Sanders does not like what he is seeing from his group as they have come out with a sluggish start. The score um, here in the third quarter, Grizzlies 30, Knights 26. Wadsworth have a four-point advantage here on the road against Nordonia. We'll be back for more third quarter action after this timeout. Welcome back everyone in Ordonia High School. Let's get you caught up with some quick NBA news. NBA Paris game concluded the day. The Bucks defeated the Hornets 116-103. Grizzlies in Detroit facing the Pistons. Uh, Detroit with a 59-58 advantage. The Celtics at the half are down by four to the Magic in Orlando. The Raptors have an early eight point deficit against the Knicks, now 10. Um, at the beginning of the second quarter in Madison Square Garden. The Clippers and the Heat from Miami uh, later on tonight. The Kings are in Chicago against the Bulls. The Rockets are in Minnesota to take on the Timberwolves. The Nuggets are in New Orleans to face off against Zion Williamson and the Pelicans. The Atlanta Hawks are in Oklahoma City for a matchup with the Thunder. The Phoenix Suns are in San Antonio tonight for a matchup with the Spurs. And then finally this evening, the Indiana Pacers are in the Bay Area for a matchup against the Warriors. And the Cavs, their next home game tomorrow against the Chicago Bulls at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Cavs trying to get revenge on the Bulls after that rough loss they had against them Saturday night, this past Saturday. Meanwhile, back here at Nordonia High School, Grizzlies retain a four-point advantage, 32-28 lead for this guy who's off the charts. Massey has his shot blocked. The lead is seven right now for Wadsworth, 35-28 to as Malone can't hold on. 131 to go here in the third quarter. And Solomon Callahan has taken this game over. A 35 to 28 lead for the Grizzlies here at Nordonia High School. Here is Owens. Owen Simmons. Nice cut inside for uh, Risher, and it looks like we have an or jump on the possession favors the Knights. 123 to go here in the fourth. The Knights looking to get some momentum back, have struggled to score here in the second half. Only eight points in this third quarter. Ty Cody seeing his first minutes of the game finds Licht. Licht kicks it up top for Ty Cody. McMillan. Up top for Ty Cody. To Jordan, uh, George Jones. And uh, Ty Cody missed the three. Simmons crashes in for the rebound. And here is Solomon Hill once more. Now guarded by Luke Ty Cody. Hill drives all the way to the basket. Oh, no, unable to hit the bucket. This guy is putting on a show and we'll go to the line for two shots. That almost went in, but Solomon Hill. 
who has had such a terrific game tonight and such a terrific stroke can give the Grizzlies a nine point advantage. Substitutions now. Robert Watson is checking in for Josh Malone. Sorry about that silence. I'm just stunned by what this guy is able to do. A left-handed, able to create his own shot. You know, this is that's what you want. And he goes two for two from the line. Stan Bingham checking back in, coming in for uh, Callahan. Here's Licht. Licht has uh, Dallas on him. Here's Robert Watson going baseline. He fell down and wanted a foul there. And Wadsworth's going to call a timeout. Final 30 seconds here of the third quarter. The Grizzlies with a 37-28 advantage to, um, with 30 seconds here in the third quarter. We'll be back to wrap up this third quarter after this short break. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as the Nordonia Knights down by nine here. They've been outscored um, 18 to eight in this third quarter. And the Grizzlies can tack on to this lead and have their first double digit advantage of the night. Jeriga inside, Solomon, no. Here's Massey. Gets it out for Cooper Russ. Cooper Russ, the floater's good. Nice shot off the glass by Russ, and that cuts the lead to seven. Here's Callahan. Finds the shot that is off the mark by Stan Bingham. So ladies and gentlemen, Solomon Callahan putting on a show tonight and continuing that in this third quarter. Can the Knights get some momentum back and uh, provide this hometown crowd with a fourth quarter rally? They're down by seven. It's a 37-30 score. Mem er, the Washington Grizz Wa er, Wadsworth Grizzlies, excuse me, up by seven with the fourth quarter right um, coming to you in a moment right here on NordoniaHills.News. Welcome back everyone in Ardonia High School as the hometown Knights are down by seven to start off this third quarter. And the Knights outscored in that third, um, eight to 18. Really is never able to get it going as Stan Bingham drives to the basket and can give the Grizzlies their first double digit advantage of the game. This will actually be the first double-digit lead either team has had tonight if Bingham can convert on the free throw. Solomon Callahan checking back in. Terrific game for him so far. 20 points for Callahan. And the way this guy has played, he does not seem like he's a freshman. This guy seems like he's a senior. He's just been fantastic tonight. Cooper Russ here on the left wing corner. Finds Watson, Watson, nice pass for McMillan. Great pass for to Clay McMillan from Robert Watson, the two connecting as the lead is back to eight. Here is Fortner, Fortner and Callahan where it's a jump ball. Possession is gonna favor the Nordonia Knights. Here's Russ. Inbounding it to Anthony Lee. Here we go. 
Henderson's double teams, double teams. Once again, goes tries to go through uh, Bingham and Alex Risher and is fouled. Carter Link and Jacob Jeriga checking in for the Grizzlies. Here's Cooper Russ. Russ cross court pass to Henderson. Henderson fakes a three. Takes a top of the key jumper. No. From the side, excuse me. Here is Bingham. Finds Link. Link has Cooper Russ on him. Link. Finds Simmons. Simmons back to Bingham. Up top of the key for Link. Grizzlies trying to hold this off on the road here. Nice pass, Jeriga inside, goes up and lays it in. The lead is officially double digits and the Knights are in a hole here at home. Lee, top of the key three. No, it's short. Here's Bingham. Bingham finds Jeriga. The Grizzlies the coaching staff wants them to push it. They're going to slow it down here on the court. Bingham. Bingham finds Link. Link lost it. Comes up to Simmons. Simmons now is Watson all over him. Nice play by Watson. Watson goes all the way to the basket and wasn't able to hit the shot but was fouled. That was a great defensive play by Robert Watson. And he'll go to the line for two shots. He was 0 for 2 last time he went to the free throw line. Those are his only two attempts from this evening. Watson is now 0 for 3 from the free throw line tonight. Short rimming his free throws. Robert Watson trying to go one for two from the line in the stretch. The Knights really need these free throws now. No. Watson now 0 for 4 from the line. Oh, and Lake, yep, it's a backcourt violation. Great defense there by the persistent Owen Lake. And the Knights force a turnover. They're down by 10, 42-32 with 5.25 to go here in the fourth. Can they rally and come back? Here's Russ. Nice pass inside. Jankowski kicks it out. Lick for three. No. Jankowski. It's an off it's offensive foul on Jankowski. It's an over the back. And the Grizzlies will have it back. Wadsworth, I would think, would try to burn some clock now. As the Grizzlies are going to call a timeout. And they're going to call a quick 30-second timeout here. So we will be back to you after this short break from Nordonia High School. You are listening to Nordonia Boys Varsity Broadcast with myself, Daria Sefna, here on NordoniaHills.News. We'll be back with more fourth quarter action after this timeout. Welcome back everyone in Ordonia High School as the hometown Knights are down by 10 with 5.13 to go here in the fourth quarter. The um, Wadsworth Grizzlies have rallied, especially with the services of uh, Solomon Callahan at their disposal. He has been fantastic. 20 points on the night. Here's Jones, Cooper Russ, drives baseline, goes, kicks it out for Lick. Lick's floater is off the glass and off as we have two P Knights players falling to the ground, Jankowski and Jones. And Stan, Stan Bingham's going to pick up that foul. 
Here's Russ. Russ finds Henderson. Henderson wants the ball now. Jankowski drives and short rims it. As the Grizzlies are going to try and kill some clock now. Here's uh, Bingham. Here's Jeriga. Jacob Jeriga bike to uh, Bingham. Simmons lost it. And Owen Simmons possibly can use his length here to close this out for the Grizzlies. Here's Link to Sol or Solomon Callahan. If his he's doing what he's been doing tonight, Wadsworth is going to come out of this game with a win. Callahan, triple teamed. He's triple teamed, and Knights are successful, but they turn it right back over to Wadsworth. Simmons, nice pass for Jeriga. Jeriga drives, lost it off his hand, and the Grizzlies are imploring a foul ensued, but the refs don't want to hear it. It's Knights ball. They're still down by 10. Owen Licht goes baseline. Nice bounce pass for Jones. He lays it up and in. Joel Jones knocks down the bucket. Here is a foul called Solomon Callahan again. And the Knights are in the penalty, so we'll have free throws for the remainder of this game. So Solomon Callahan in his most recent trip to the free throw line, two for two, as, well, actually missed it. He is human after all. Here's Link with Henderson on him. Link is finds Bingham who's wide open. Bingham, Simmons in the corner for three. No. Here's Jankowski, finds Henderson. Henderson, nice feed inside for Jones, who is way off on the layup attempt. As Simmons is going to head off. Here's Licht. Scott Dallas has also come in for Wadsworth. Henderson still can't hit. Here's Callahan to the basket. Nice pass for Link. Way off. And Knights will get it back. 2.51 to go here in the fourth quarter. Grizzlies 42. Knights 34. Knights trying to come back here in the fourth. Jackson drives. And offensive foul called on the Knights. We'll see who it's on. It's on Jackson. Pushed off and offensive foul. Lee's going to come in for Cooper Russ. Knights going with more full court presses. Here's Bingham. Bingham drives all the way and had it stripped. And it's Knights ball. Knights ball surprisingly. I think Lick was even a bit surprised himself, but just gets back and doing his job. Terrific athlete for the Knights. Here's Lee up top for Licht. Licht gets it to Watson who backs up and misses. And the steal, great steal by Watson. Knights need a timeout. And Dominique Sanders asking what timeout, what kind of timeout he has. He has a full timeout which he will use. The Knights will use a full timeout and they are down six. 42 to 36 is the score. The final minutes of the fourth quarter are up on us here at Nordonia High School. Who will pull away and get the victory here at Nordonia? We'll find out here on NordoniaHills.news. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back everyone, Nordonia High School. 2.19 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Nordonia Knights down by six, 42-36 is the score. The Wadsworth Grizzlies have had themselves a fantastic second half and are on the verge of coming up with a huge road win here against the Knights. Here's Link. Link has it stripped and stolen by Jackson. Jackson finds Lee. Lee to Henderson. Henderson drives, floats it up, and off the mark, Watson the rebound. Watson puts it up and in. Robert Watson has cut the lead and the deficit to four as Link is fouled. Or no, no foul. Timeout called by Wadsworth. And it's a full timeout called by the Grizzlies. We'll be back um, with about two minutes and 10 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter here on NordoniaHills.News. Don't miss out. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. Rainy day outside. Um, however, here at Nordonia High School, we are dry and a little anxious as well as the Knights are down by four, but there's still a minute 46 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Let's see which team will come out victorious here at Nordonia. Here's Bingham trying to find someone and he found Link. Grizzlies gotta get it over the line. Here's Watson. And Watson coming up with some fantastic defensive plays as he'll go to the line. Let's see. No, this is going to be inbound. Owen Simmons checking back in for the Grizzlies. He's coming in for Carter Link. Here's Anthony Lee. Finds Licht in the left side corner, up top to Lee. Lee finds Henderson. Anthony Lee drives, kicks it out, back out. Henderson a three. No. Here's Simmons. Callahan is fouled. So Callahan will go back to the free throw line as the Knights are in the penalty. Here's Callahan, who did miss a free throw, and this is another. So he's starting to cool off a little bit. Hasn't scored in a while, has Callahan. Lee has it stripped. Stripped by Dallas, if I'm not mistaken. Here's Bingham. Bingham finds Simmons. It's a two-on-one. Jeriga alley-oop to Simmons, yes. As Jeriga and Simmons connect on the alley-oop, here is Henderson, the floater, goes. Back to four. 38.8 remains here in the fourth quarter as the Knights have taken this game to the wire here. They're down by four, 38 seconds remaining. We'll see what the Knights have in store down the stretch. We'll be back here on NordoniaHills.News. Don't go away. Welcome back, everyone. We're at Nordonia High School where you would think the Wadsworth Grizzlies, who have a four-point advantage, would just hold the ball for a lot, for pretty much their entire possession. They're going to be dealing with a lot of pressure, and Solomon Callahan once again fouled. Let's see if he can hit some free throws. He's gone cold in this stretch, but his team's still up by four. So Callahan, yes, finally is able to connect on a free throw. Callahan looking to go two for two from the line as 
he can give the Grizzlies a six point lead here. And does. So two lucky bounces for Callahan and two more points for the Grizzlies. A six point Wadsworth lead. Jackson, 30 seconds to go. Watson the jumper, no. Jackson gets it out to Henderson. Cooper Russ for three, fouled on the three point attempt, but he'll shoot free, uh, three free throws. I wonder what the refs are trying to discuss here. The foul is on Scott Dallas. And Russ can cut this game, or cut this deficit to three. You'll see, I did say the Knights were gonna have to have, this game would be decided at the free throw line. Let's see if the Knights can hit these free throws and stay in the game. Russ hits his first. Jordan Massey is checking in for Luke Jackson. Russ is two. This is, that's not free th three free throws. I thought it would. Uh, he must have had a foot on the line. But Russ goes two for two. Four point Grizzlies lead, 46-42 with 21 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. As we have another foul called, Stingham this time is fouled. And here's Owen Simmons at the free throw line. where his first free throw is off. Robert Watson checking in for Jordan Massey. So right there for the Knights, it's Anthony Lee, John Henderson, Owen Licht, Cooper Russ, and Robert Watson. Simmons, second free throw, got it. 19 seconds to go, Knights down by five. Anthony Lee finds Henderson who could really use a half-court shot right now after that one he hit to end the first half. Three by Anderson, no. Here's Callahan, 10 seconds to go. And they're just dribbling it out. Oh, it comes up with the steal, but there's only, there's only 3.9 to go in the quarter. As, as the Knights call a full timeout here with 3.9 seconds to go. The Grizzlies with a 47-42 lead and will most likely be winning this heading out of Nardonia High School with a victory. We'll finish up this fourth quarter for you um, on NardoniaHills.News in a moment. Welcome back to Nardonia High School. 3.9 is all that's left on the shot clock and the Knights do have the ball, but looks like they'll probably be exiting the court with a loss unless they pull off a miracle. Licked for three. Nope, and that will do it. As the Wadsworth Grizzlies come to town and defeat the Nardonia Knights by a final score of 47 to 42. The Grizzlies um, score 27, or no, excuse me. Um, the Grizzlies outscore the Knights in this second half, 22 to 18, or um, excuse me, 28, excuse me, uh, 22 to 28 and come out of Nordonia High School with a 47 to um, 42 victory 
at the Hugh Griffith Memorial Arena. Stay tuned for our post-game report here from Nordonia High School. We will be back to wrap up um, our night here at Nordonia with the post-game report. Don't miss out. Um, we should be here for you, right here for you on NordoniaHills.News. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to this evening's play-by-play -play of Nordonia Hills basketball here on NordoniaHills.News. We will be back next Friday for another Nordonia matchup. And we will see you, um, as I mentioned, next Friday. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Have a great week. And we will see you back here on NordoniaHills.News for another Nordonia broadcast. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nordonia High School for the post-game report here on NordoniaHills.News as the Knights fall to the visiting Wadsworth Grizzlies by a final score of 47-42. to For the Grizzlies, they outscore the Knights 28-22 to in the second half to come up with a five-point victory. Robert Watson going 0-4 for from the free throw line tonight. Um, really missed some key free throws that could have really helped the Knights get back into the game. However, on the Grizzlies side, it was the Solomon Callahan show for the majority of this one. Callahan finished the game with 22 points, um, hit some clutch free throws down the stretch, got some lucky bounces as the Grizzlies come into town and defeat the Knights. Knights next game and our next game here on News will be next Friday, January 31st, when the visiting Hudson Explorers will be here at Nordonia High School for a matchup with the Knights. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much um, for joining me this evening for um, another broadcast of Nordonia Knights Boys Varsity Basketball. We'll be back with you next Friday. Um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you again to Julie D and Shane for all of your awesome work behind the scenes. We could not have, have done this without you. Um, it's really been great working with you guys. We will be back next Friday. And until then, have a great week. Thanks, and go Knights. <laughs>